Sound Design. So, is there any way to optimize a constant curvature array besides gain shading? I would say no, and that's what I want to talk about in today's video. So, these speakers like the JBL VRX series still end up on shows all the time, so we need to know how to use them despite what you might feel about them. If they have to be on stands and you open up your prediction software like the VRX calculator, you might be tempted to think that it's going to work to put two on a stand and then use a gain offset to kind of like aim the HF down. Let me show you why you might think that. This is what I thought for a long time. Maybe you haven't had this problem. But if we take a look at a prediction of 8K and then we start to lower the gain on the bottom box, then not only does it seem to start taking um, the right shape to match our audience, but we can see that the response comparing vertical top and vertical bottom of our audience seems to be getting closer and closer. Seems like good stuff, right? So I just keep going way down, just keep going until they match. And then I look at 4K and like, oh, that kind of matches too, that's cool. And it matches up here and I've got this big problem here, but okay, it's doing pretty well. I've tried this in the field a couple times because I always get sort of drawn in by like, this looks fine. And it never really works for me. What always happens is that as you start at the back and walk forward, it just seems to get a little bit louder, a little bit louder, but somewhere around here, you always get slapped in the face with low mid. And that's because the array doesn't care about your gain offset in the low mid. It's always gonna come out of the geometric midpoint of the array. Um, so let's look at, take a look at the low frequencies here. If I turn these off and let's just look at 500, reset this to zero. Now as I go lower and lower, you know, the shape of this doesn't really change. Okay, so first of all, this array is not long enough to really have any control over 500 hertz, but even if I set it at a higher frequency, the low end of our arrays is pretty much always gonna come out of the geometric midpoint of the array, no matter the gain offset between elements. That's why this array really wants to be deployed much higher so that it can have um, a much lower front to back distance ratio. So when I'm stuck in situations like this where I have to use these kind of speakers on a stand, what I usually do is just switch to one box. Before I do that, um, let me take a picture of this. So here's the result with two boxes and level offset. Let's switch to one box. And now with one box, now I can use some cheap pole mount um, vertical tilt adapters that I have. Then what I'll do is I'll compare my measurement microphones at vertical top and vertical bottom, and then I can adjust the vertical aim here and I'll sort of watch these things. Okay, needs to go a little bit lower. Needs to go a little bit lower. And I just keep going until I can find the aim where they match the best. Um, I've also noticed that if you play around with the switches on the back, um, you might be able to find a better compromise. So here you can see that my vertical top microphone has too much high end and my vertical bottom microphone has too little high end, but now they're somewhere in between instead of you know something like this, which would be um, much too little high end at vertical bottom. So when I have to do speakers like this on stands, um, I just use one of them and I find that is a much more balanced solution. I've noticed if I walk from back to front, it just seems to be more smooth. So to show you the comparison, here's the two element array that we had and here's the one element array. So it doesn't look that different in the low end, but for me, I find that it works better. So you might try that. Now what we really wanna do with this kind of array is get it up higher so that we can reduce the front to back distance ratio. Let's so, Let's go back to looking at something like 4K. Let's add some more boxes. Before we do that, maybe I'll just take it up higher. So let's take this up to say 40 feet and I'll aim this down. Okay, so now these kind of match in the high end um, and they also look pretty good in 
the low end, but it's omnidirectional on the low end. So let's look at 5C. It just sort of goes everywhere. I just want to point out that as we start adding boxes, the line length gets longer and our low end should narrow. So watch that red line. I'll add more boxes. There we go. More narrow, more narrow. So now we've got four boxes and now I can sort of control where the low end is going. Now with some more height on this array, I can start to play around with these gain offsets to see if I can match the shapes. And I would say it would be great if we could get this even a little bit higher. So let's take it up to 60 feet. Point this down like this. And I don't know, I'd have to play around with this some more. But you can see that as I play around with these gain offsets, we can actually start to get the high frequency to match the low frequency a little bit more. Um, so this is how I would really love to deploy these. They don't get deployed that often, but if you're wondering why VRX are so hard to work with, um, it's because they really want to be up high like this. Now another question you might have is if we can use all pass filters to do beam spreading so that if we're stuck with an unideal placement, we can still try to adjust the low end coverage and wind it out a bit. And the answer is yes, but if you're on a show that's using JBL VRX, then you probably don't also have the processing power to insert all pass filters for all of your outputs. It just doesn't really make sense, but you might. So I just put together um, some jam one piece in my sound i've got a couple here and you can just see the difference here so this is without all pass filters and this is with so as we move from front to back here you can see that's a lot of color changes and then you know as i widen the coverage out more you can see that there's less color changes so that's how i think about optimizing a constant curvature array like the jbl vrx 932 lap series of speakers if you guys have some ideas for how I can improve this, please let me know. I end up working with these all the time. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.